Uh, there are lots of cases of deaths during shooting in police encounters. Right. But those are easily identified, get into the press, it can be picked up by death certificate uh, examinations, as the Washington Post are doing, because there's no database that's been uh, created uh, to, to uh, gather how many deaths occur during police encounters. And in order to be able to uh, analyze them to determine what, why there are such deaths, uh, we've got to uh, make a, a national database, look at the cases, see what the circumstances are, and try to develop strategies to improve uh, conditions so that there aren't such deaths. And there have been some uh, number of investigations going on that uh, about the, from the uh, New York, uh, the Washington Post, that there are a thousand shooting deaths uh, a year now uh, involving police encounters with unarmed men, uh, with uh, 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 almost always unarmed men. Uh, and there are other studies that show that more than half of deaths during police encounters of civilians uh, are not reported on death certificates. That's my friends, me and my forensic pathology colleagues who, who make up the death certificates uh, when people die in police encounters. So if they're not being properly reported, that means that say from um, George Floyd to two years later to Ty Tyree Nichols, there've been over 4,000 deaths at least in police encounters. And occasionally a Floyd case, a Tyree Nichols case comes out to the public but there are thousands of cases that don't, and they have to be analyzed to see how do we uh, diminish that the those deaths. And the only way we can do that is we first find out how, uh, the extent of the problem. How many deaths are there when there are police encounters? One of the reasons, uh, Sean, uh, that uh, we don't have the deaths is there are a number of different ways the 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 deaths are certificates are issued that don't permit knowing there was a police encounter. Things like excited delirium, which uh, uh, is widely used by some of my forensic pathology kind. There are only five hundred of us in, in the in the country doing this. Um, they, they, stop there for a second. You you just surprised me with that number. There are only five hundred forensic pathologists across the United States. Yeah, there are only yes, Sean. Uh, there That's are only insane. about five hundred board certified full-time forensic pathologists in in the 50 United States. And uh, that's over a million physicians. It's a very small uh, uh, specialty in, in uh, pathology. There are 24 specialties in pathology, um, uh, surgery, obstetrics, pediatrics. Uh, there's uh, one of them is pathology Patholo and about 20,000 pathologists Pathologists are the doctors who uh, are usually hospital-based that um, determine what's wrong with a patient. We don't treat patients. We, uh, by uh, the blood test, the laboratory test, urine blood test, DNA tests, uh, biopsies that are taken uh, during surgery, uh, before surgery, uh, tell the treating doctor what the disease is. We were able to see, to find out what the disease is uh, and 92% of people die of natural diseases, cancer, heart disease. They're the specialty of hospital pathologists. 8% of, uh, of uh, pathologists uh, uh, deal with unnatural deaths or with people who die outside of hospital uh, from accident, suicide, homicide. All those deaths are the specialty of forensic pathologists. Deaths during police encounters, drug overdose deaths, all come within our purview. So um, uh, if the forensic, if the pathologist who does the autopsy, like in, in with George Floyd, um, determines that the cause of death, say, is this excited delirium uh, stuff that's common, uh, or uh, is due to sickle trait. Sickle trait has no harm, does no, 8% of black people have sickle trait. That is one parent had a sickle gene. Uh, the individual is uh, perfectly healthy. Uh, many, um, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, 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 Olympic cha uh, uh, champions have been uh, have had a sickle trait. They didn't even know it. Know it for example, that's that's used if somebody in, in police custody dies from uh, uh, during the encounter uh, and has sickle trait. That will be put on the cause of death uh, on the death certificate. 
uh, the fact that there was a police encounter, and as with George Floyd, that's one of the reasons this uh, uh, concerned me so much, whether it's Eric Garner, George Floyd, uh, a whole bunch of other people, when they say, I can't breathe, the reason they can't breathe is because the police restraint is uh, preventing them from, uh, from breathing. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.